Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got our hinge, both hinges mounted to the uh, canopy. Um, you have to take one hinge off in order to get the canopy frame to actually fit um, into each of the holes on, on either side. So it was a little bit of a pain to get the second one on. Um, you've just got a little bit of room to work on it under there and you've got to get an allen wrench <clears throat> going in that small space so um, it's easiest if you can get it in from this little hole here from the other side so but it's still kind of a pain and then once there's a canopy on here I imagine it's going to be even a bigger pain so um, but we got that and now what we've got to do is get everything all centered up so that we can uh, mount our next little wooden block there so but before we do anything we need to tape the canopy frame onto the fuselage um, and make sure that it's uh, perfectly centered so that when we glue that last wood uh, block in there we'll be able to um, have our, everything all centered up so all right let's go ahead and do that uh, i'm going to put you on the stand here Okay, now that everything's in place, we're going to take our going to take the wooden block. Um, it's just made out of light ply, and you can see, hopefully, you can see that I angled this one side here to uh, match the fuselage. So. Really, all I need to do, um, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and do it, is uh, mix up some five minute epoxy with some uh, milled fiberglass right on the inside there. Um, just right along this edge, just enough to uh, basically tack glue it in place. And then I'm going to take high sol and then permanently glue it. So I'm going to let that set overnight and then we'll come back. And then basically, the only thing that we'll need to do is. Um, Put in our screws so which uh, I think that's going to be a little bit of a pain um, we can get one screw on each side but I have no idea how in the world we'd get a second screw back there so um, but one should be plenty so all right I'm gonna go ahead and mix up the glue and then uh, get this ready to put in place okay so I've got the epoxy all along the um, edge that's going against the fuselage uh, ready to go and I'm just going to let this kind of tack up a little bit. So we'll go ahead and put it in once it's uh, tacked up a bit. Okay, now that uh, our piece is tacked up a little bit, I'm just going to slide it in there and basically uh, hold it until it's, um, until it's dry. Um, also note that I did scuff up the inside of the um, fuselage and cleaned it with some denatured alcohol. So I want to make sure and get a good adhesion. And I'm just making sure that the hinge is flat against our little piece of wood here. Okay, and we are pretty much done. Now I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, whoop, how about there? There we go. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, high saw that in place, and we'll be ready for the screws. So that's going to take overnight, so this is just gonna be a quick video. And uh, pretty much stay tuned for the next episode. 
Okay guys, so um, I think I decided. Um, I still need to high saw in the uh, one mount, but um, getting to these screws is going to be just about impossible. Um, so I went ahead and CA'd um, these to these uh, blocks. Um, I mean, I might as well go ahead and epoxy them, but there, there's really no way that you're going to get to those screws once you have the rear canopy on. So um, went ahead and I glued the servo just uh, straight to the um, bulkhead there. Um, I could have made a mount or whatever, but the servo is so cheap, I don't really care. Um, and then just, since I don't have the right stuff here, um, I just bent up a paper clip here just so I could uh, test out the mechanism. So, here goes our first test here. And I set the servo speed to about and it's either five seconds or seven seconds, but uh, it's a little bit uh, shaky here, but let's see how. All right, and let's go down. And the reason it snaps like that is because the uh, Little canopy whoop de whoop there. I don't know what that's called. Anyhow, um, it just barely brushes up against that. Plus, um, I don't think the servo's got like mega torque or anything either. And then there's also probably slop since um, I don't have clevises on each side of that. So, but uh, real quick, one more time. and down all right so it's good enough for government work but uh, anyhow so basically all I had to do is um, like I said adjust the servo speed in the radio and then I also adjusted the travel um, it only moves down about 30 percent and then it moves up a hundred percent of the uh, servo travel so let's take a look at that Okay, and I probably could move that servo arm. Basically, you want your servo arm to be kind of pointed at um, whatever it is that you're trying to move so that there's less load on the servo. But since this is just more for show, I'm not going to be really using it a whole lot. But anyways, here's down. And up. All right, so we'll uh, put some a uh, little bit more professional uh, fittings on there, some clevis and a uh, better little push rod there than what we've got. But uh, all right, one more time. And up. And I think it's set for three seconds down and seven seconds up, so. All right, well, that's it for tonight, guys. I'll see you next time.